All right, so let's continue on with this uh, meter expressions and meter views. So here we are, or where we left off in the last video, looking at uh, what I was talking about, the tiny size or the tiny view that's available for us here. But by uh, a simple push of the tab button on your keyboard, you land over here. And right away, you can see my voice being reflected on what I believe is a much better environment as far as uh, you know, looking at meters, large meters in fact. Most DAWs that you see today usually have something a little bit smaller along the lines of say, uh, let's take this off, see the smaller versions down here now. That's kind of typical in a DAW, but uh, the Bitwig team is smart enough to think of uh, you know, another way to view the energy, as I put it, um, view the energy of the project. So they give us the big meter view here, one of my favorite views. And uh, along with that, we've got our tabs that we went over earlier, but uh, let's take another quick look at them here. We've got the uh, devices here. So one of the views that I actually tend to use when I'm in Bitwig and, and kind of feel most comfortable with is kind of what you're looking at now. I like having the devices available to me right here. That way I can see what I'm working with on each channel. I'm not running up here to open up a device rack. And if I want to see the individual, say, EQ5 itself, just quick double click, boom, there it is. So pretty nice little feature having it right there available to us. So we've got, uh, again, the um, add button. If we want to jump into the menu and get some more different effects or different features, we've got uh, our send effects. in and out routing available as well. If you want to do some in and out manipulation from this view, you can do that as well, quite flexible. Um, just about the same thing we were able to do in the other one, just looking at a much better perspective here. Also, uh, just want to mention, if you need to move the tracks around, you can do so at will. Multiple tracks at once, one track at a time. Wherever you need to move them, they'll move for you. You can add additional tracks right here whatever you like and move that track wherever I want it and um, one of the other things too in Bitwig Studio if you've moved a parameter or even a volume level and you want to get it back to square one or back to zero just give it a quick double click and it's right back where you want it so nice little feature some of the other DAWs I've worked with it's usually like a keyboard stroke or a keyboard function like option or something like that that's contained for a move like that but it's nice that uh, the Bitwig team have actually put it here for us uh, and made it accessible in an easy double click. So this is the larger view or big metering view I guess of Bitwig Studios and I just wanted to kind of show you guys that uh, this option is here and is available and in, in your project is going to give you a little bit better opportunity to s truly see uh, what you're feeling or what you believe to be feeling as far as the energy levels of your uh, project. So let's move on to the next video.